Hello everyone, and welcome to the first video tutorial in the Joppa View Elementary Electronic Music Club series. Uh, I'm going to make a series of tutorials for you that basically show you how to set up your own home studio if you so desire to build one, and then also to reinforce all the skills that are taught in the EMC program. Um, you are not required to purchase anything or set up your own studio at home. This first video is simply for those of you who uh, who have shown a desire and want to do that. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to pick up the same equipment that we use in school. Um, and, and you can set up a beginning studio for pretty cheap, uh, believe it or not. So the first thing you need is an actual computer. It doesn't matter whether you choose to go with a laptop or desktop, and it doesn't matter if it's PC or Mac. You just need a computer. Um, what you are going to want to be careful of is making sure you have uh, the requirements necessary to run Ableton. So we're going to load up their website here. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the intro version. There are actually three versions of live. There's intro, standard, and suite. You don't need to start with all the bells and whistles. You just need to get a good foundation. So live 9 intro is more than powerful for what we're going to be doing in EMC. Uh, but up here you can read what operating systems you need and things like that. Um, one thing I'm going to add to this list is you really do need a CPU that's going to run at 2 gigahertz or more. Um, Ableton tends to stutter if you have less than that. So in addition to this this 4 gig of RAM, um, if you can get a 2, two gig processor, um, that's awesome. And if you can get a computer or if your computer has 8 gigs of RAM, that, that's even better. Um, you are going to need uh, 3 gigs of disk space because um, just to install it and then you're going to need another 3 to see. So 6 total uh, to get all your sound samples um, that you're going to want to use. Um, so if you don't have a computer that has this, maybe ask for it for your birthday or start saving your money. Um, it'll run on less than this, but it, it's really slow and, and sometimes tends to crash. So um, if you can get a computer that has these requirements. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, just show this video uh, to mom and dad and, and they'll, they'll understand what all these things mean. And then once you have a computer, we just have to get the Ableton software. So, obviously you need to go to music store for that. Um, I like to shop online. Um, and my favorite music store online is musiciansfriend.com. You don't have to shop here. This is just where I tend to shop. You can see I've already loaded up um, Ableton Live 9 intro into the search bar. And it will come up. It'll be in a green box. Um, right now, it is 20% off, which is really cool. It's 80 bucks. Um, but Ableton is running this really cool sale right now that if you buy Live 9, when Live 10 gets released, um, you'll actually get to upgrade for free, which is a really, really good deal. And that's going to happen uh, sometime here in the near future. Um, all us Live users are very excited to, to, to upgrade to Live 10. Um, and then you can also choose whether you want to um, purchase it so that they would mail you a CD and you can install it via CD-ROM. Or um, you can download it from the website and just download it directly to your computer. Um, Ableton's website is simply www.ableton.com. And that really is all you absolutely need to start making music. Um, and I will show you in class how to actually open up Ableton and use it. Um, I'm going to make a second video here shortly on how you actually install Ableton on your computer and set up all your folders. Um, but one other thing that you might want to uh, to invest in is what we call a MIDI controller, and that just stands for Musical Inter. I say it wrong all the time. Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Um, MIDI is just a series of of protocols and code basically that can communicate uh, musical messages to your computer and to your speakers, and we'll we'll learn more about that um, as we go. Um, my very first MIDI controller is just this simple job right here. It's just the Akai um, MPK-25. Um, that's what I got started on. Um, it's actually the MPK Mini, um, Mini 25. Um, I've actually updated it a little bit since I bought mine. Uh, the ones we're going to use in school are still made by Akai, um, but this is called the LPK-25. Um, and it's just 25 mini keys. 
Um, it does have an arpeggiator and a sustain button, which is pretty cool, and I'll show you how to use all those things. Um, and although it looks like a keyboard, it's actually a controller, so it's going to control what Ableton does. Um, you don't need this to make music, but it does help, and we will be using them in school. Um, basically, these just connect to your laptop or your desktop um, with a USB cable. Um, and then you play it like a piano, but it doesn't necessarily always sound like a piano. Um, which is pretty cool. Um, and if we load that up here on Musician's Friends, you can see they're 60 bucks by themselves. Whoops, I can't read. 70 bucks by themselves, um, which is a pretty good deal. I think the uh, MPK minis are 100 bucks, um, but they last forever. And the reason I use Akai is because there's no drivers there, plug and play. Um, so you don't have to install an additional driver on your computer to use them. You just have to plug it in USB. And um, Ableton will recognize Akai products. Um, right out of the box so that's a pretty good deal again you don't have to have a controller it just helps um, especially when you you're you're trying to uh, record your ideas into Ableton and you don't want to punch them in the grid um, all the time but again I'll show you how to do all that in class that's basically all you need you're gonna want to think about getting a pair of headphones especially maybe if you live in a small apartment or if you don't want to bother everybody you plan on writing music after midnight I don't know um, any old headphones will do whatever plugs into your computer you do not need to go out and get headphones that are two three hundred dollars um, you know just go to Walmart buy a pair for four ninety nine nine ninety nine dollars um, and, and, and use them uh, you know five years from now if you're still making music maybe you invest in some better headphones but to just to get started you know just go to Walmart pick up a, a cheap pair of headphones and, and they'll get us started um, again you can just use the sound coming right out of your computer or your computer speakers um, but if you don't want people to hear what you're doing um, you might want to pick up uh, a pair of headphones and that is all we need um, and that those are the the basic things that we're going to use in the EMC uh, class um, at school um, and now I'm going to show you how to hook all this up um, but I do just want to remind you this this video is just for people who want to do this at home in addition to school you are not required to buy anything or set up a studio um, I can also tell you that once you start your studio it, it's kind of addicting and, and you always want a new piece of gear and you're always building and making it better um, so it's kind of kind of a uh, kind of obsession like that uh, but uh, for those of you who really are interested um, this is a very cheap way to get started um, with what we're doing so I will be right back at you and show you how to set all this up okay now I'm gonna show you how to set all this up like I said earlier, the second video tutorial will be on how to actually download and install Ableton onto your device or your laptop or your computer. But uh, for this video, we're already loaded up and ready to go. Um, we have our LPK25 right here. It's going to come with the USB cable you need. Um, it's just your standard mini to, uh, to standard size USB connector. Uh, the mini side is actually going to go into your actual controller. So you can see here on the side, we have a mini input or output, I should say. And then this just goes into one of your USB ports on your, your laptop or your computer. All right. And one of the reasons I like Akai products is they're what we call plug and play. You don't have to have a driver. You don't have to do anything to make them work. This controller will now talk to Ableton. Now I have already preloaded some sounds. The first one is just the piano. Um, and basically when I play this controller, it's going to control Ableton and you'll hear uh, some piano sounds here. One well, of the cool things about this is it's a controller. You can control any sound in the Ableton environment. So if I switch gears here and now I load up some drum sounds, now when I press these keys, now I can run my drums. Alright, that's like the conga, crash cymbal, and then if you so want, you can actually set up a little groove. Alright, so you can actually control any sound with an Ableton with this controller, which is really, really nice, and it's that simple to set up. And then if you're you know, low on space at home, you can simply unplug that cable and, and tuck that away somewhere to store it. Um, 
and then itself is like I said I think it's about three and a half by twelve so uh, very portable alright so hopefully this helps you uh, understand the equipment that we're using and helps you get set up at home and uh, like I said the next video will show you how to actually um, install Ableton and set up your folders um, so everything works properly uh, so we can get to making some music see you next time